I'm never one to talk about the need for decorum and civility, but I've got to say the Republican Party have been killing it when it comes to making a circus out of the confirmation hearings for Judge Kentanji Brown Jackson. I mean, it's it's so strange that we have Ted Cruz reading from a children's book. We have Lindsey Graham angrily storming out for no apparent reason. And they think they're crushing it. They think that people are watching them and thinking, man, they're really killing it. I mean, Ted Cruz literally was searching his own name after he got into a back and forth with Dick Durbin. It's bizarre that they don't think that they're making fools of themselves, but here we are. So one question that has come up uh, is abortion, because it's it's kind of important currently. But Republicans, they are, uh, I guess, asking if, you know, um, Kentaji Brown-Jackson would go against Roe v. Wade, not that she would be on the court in time to have a say in the current case before the Supreme Court. But regardless, you know, the issue of abortion have come up, uh, has come up. And uh, Marsha Blackburn decided to add to the noise that Republicans are making, and she tried to own the libs on Twitter about the issue of abortion, and it did not go according to plan. So she tweeted out, the Constitution grants us rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, not abortions. Senator, where specifically in the Constitution does it grant us the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Is that Clause 2, Chapter 5, Section 7? Where? H have you read the Constitution, Senator? That is the Declaration of Independence. And furthermore, when we're talking about liberty, if controlling your own body isn't considered liberty if that doesn't fall under the category of liberty then nothing does but she's citing the declaration of independence as if it's the constitution this is a united states senator and that tweet is still up at the time that i record this video listen if you are watching this and you didn't know that you get a pass that's perfectly fine but odds are you did know that but if you didn't that's okay because guess what you're not a United States Senator. Marsha Blackburn is. She has to know that. You should basically know that there is a difference between the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. And especially if you don't know that, for you to take to Twitter and post that as if it's some sort of an own, and you leave it up after getting ratioed into oblivion, I don't even know what to say. I, I don't know... <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, obviously, the education system has failed us in the United States. We're certainly not vetting people who run for the Senate enough in this country. At least Tennessee isn't because they're the ones who elected her. Thanks, people from Tennessee. I just so confident, but yet oh so wrong. Now, I've got to get to the responses because people obviously dunked on her and it was great to see. So Marianne Williamson tweeted out, Senator, that was the Declaration of Independence. You could just feel the exasperation in that tweet. Julian Clark writes, someone who doesn't know the difference between the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence shouldn't be involved in making laws, right? Jameson Foster says, I am once again begging you to read a book, just any book. It doesn't even matter if it's a children's book. It seems like, you know, Ted Cruz and other senators... They have an affinity for children's books. Just read any book, honestly. Victoria Brownworth says, Wrong document, ma'am. <laughs> Salty Cannon Fodder writes, That's a phrase from the Czech's notes. Declaration of Independence, not the Constitution. I learned this freshman year of high school. Frankly, you have no business adjudicating the judge's qualifications for SCOTUS. And just to pause there, uh, yeah, you know, when I was a TA, uh, when I was in the PhD program, and I was grading political science 101 quizzes, um, I only saw this mistake once or twice when a student very clearly didn't do the work and they were trying to bullshit and they talked about how the Constitution says that we are guaranteed life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I didn't see it that frequently. You know, you think it's a common mistake for newcomers who are taking poli-sci 101, but no, I feel like most people probably know this. I mean, so again, I feel like it's inexcusable for a U.S. senator 
to get this wrong, and it's especially comical for her to get it wrong in the context of trying to own the lips, but there's some more here. Lance Storm says, I'm not even American, and I know that's the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> so sad. So sad. Marie says, a condom would have prevented this post. Marie has no chill. Marie has no chill. Uh, my response, you're doing fucking great, sweetie. I mean, what do you even say? To embarrass yourself and then have everyone on Twitter, basically 100% of people on Twitter, laugh at you. I'm being hyperbolic, but everyone was laughing at her, essentially. And to leave that tweet up, not even realizing it, not even tweeting that and thinking, wait, maybe this doesn't sound right because she has no clue. She has no idea. I don't think she's actually read the Constitution. I don't think she has, not even once. But yet this is someone tasked with uh, determining the qualifications of a Supreme Court justice. That is horrifying, is it not? This is someone who has so much power, she is one of just 100 senators, doesn't even know the difference between the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. And you might think, maybe, you know, you're making too big of a deal out of this, Mike. No, this is a United States senator. Again, I could give you a pass if you're Greg who works at Walmart or if you're just a random person, but not if you're a United States senator, not if you're going to be that arrogant about it. And again... I mean, if you don't think that abortion is a form of liberty, literally having control over your body, I feel like you don't understand the concept of liberty at all. So, yeah, I agree with the sentiment that you probably shouldn't be writing laws, but here we are, and odds are she's not the dumbest person in the U.S. Senate. I mean, have you heard some of these folks talk? She's probably not the dumbest. So it's horrifying to think that somebody that dumb is in the Senate, but it's more scary to think about the prospect that she's probably not the dumbest person in the Senate. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna come. Come, come, come. Do not come. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. 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 